If the government seeks to exclude a foreign national from the United States, what must it show? The Supreme Court considered that question in Shaughnessy v. United States, ex relatione Maisy. Ignatz Maisy was born in Gibraltar to parents who were Romanian or Hungarian. He lived in the United States from 1923 to 1948. That year, he left to visit his dying mother in Romania, but was denied entry. He remained in Hungary for 19 months, then obtained an immigration visa from the American consul. Maisie proceeded to France and boarded a ship to New York. But upon arrival in February of 1950, an immigration inspector denied him entry, stranding him at Ellis Island. In May, the United States Attorney General made Maisie's exclusion permanent, based on confidential information that the Attorney General wouldn't disclose, even to a federal judge in camera. France, Great Britain, Hungary, and several Latin American countries all refused him entry. In the meantime, Maisie was stranded on Ellis Island, not precisely in custody, but allowed to go nowhere else. Maisie filed several unsuccessful habeas corpus petitions until a federal judge granted his petition and paroled him on bond. Maisie posted bond and returned home to his family in Buffalo, New York, where he reported weekly to immigration officials. A divided Second Circuit panel affirmed, and the United States Supreme Court granted cert.